Hello everyone, this is Joel Davis with the United Medical Transportation Providers Group. And I encourage you to watch this entire video. There's three key things I wanna do with the third one actually asking for your help, feedback, and participation, because I got some good stuff coming. So let me start by, I wanna share this email that Dan forwarded to me that we received from Crystal. Uh, she writes, hello Joel, I have read your transportation ebook and also your home care manual. I utilized every free moment I had to read them entirely. I just couldn't get enough. And this is where it gets really good. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy and special inside. I missed all of my Zumba workouts for the last week and a half just so I could read your information. So uh, my ego goes to the roof because I come before even Zumba. That's awesome. Uh, she goes on to explain, I am so pleased with the detailed information you have provided and I definitely want your guidance from here on out. And then Crystal goes on to explain uh, some of the immediate tasks she's going to do to position herself for a fast start for her new business. Everything from paying off her debts, improving her credit score, and then laying down the foundation uh, for some of the legal aspects of her business. So um, and then she went on to explain she's 32 years old, has a background in physical therapy. Um, so my point to this is, although I love the the great testimonials and it's it's funny that I come before Zumba, but the, the, the great aspect of this is I love seeing people who, after they use this information, study my resources, they start thinking strategically. Whether you're new to the business, whether you've already been in business for a while and it's time for you to grow and diversify your business, I love strategic thinkers. Now, can you overplan things? Yes, I've seen plenty of people, they get so bogged down in the planning stages that they never take action. And as I mentioned in some previous videos, at some point in time, you have to let go of the docks and venture out into the waters. And sometimes those waters are going to be peaceful. Sometimes they're going to be choppy, but you need, need to stay consistent and keep moving forward. So Crystal, I really appreciate your email. I'm very flattered. I love the fact that I come before Zumba, but uh, with all seriousness, I'm glad you enjoyed the material and I hope everyone else who, who reads it does the same. Um, second thing to play off that is keep checking your emails. Um, because I have some very good information coming out. We, there's some, we have some great stuff coming out in the, in the coming weeks and months, some great training DVDs, uh, and videos that, uh, so many of you guys are going to love and appreciate. And I know it's really going to help your business. I've already shared some of them with, uh, with some people who I've worked with and spot on. They love it. So keep checking your email. It's going to be associated with mdtseminar.com. Um, it's good stuff. So, so, so keep checking your email and stay posted on that. The second, uh, I'm sorry, the third thing I want to touch upon is the importance of you keeping up with technology and integrating it into your business. Now, I know a lot of you are using DME and I love it. We get so many people who come from other dispatching services and they get tired of being nickel and dimed, paying all the extra cost, uh, for their dispatching services. And then they come to dispatching made easy. So I really... First of all, I'm humbled. I love the fact that so many of you guys love DME. Uh, and that's why I want to ask for your help and insight. Uh, one thing we're going to be doing uh, in the coming weeks and months that we've been working on with my developers is creating a new module. And this module is going to allow you, especially if you have service agreements or contracts with facilities, you are going to be able to give them a unique username and password. And that facility is going to be able to um, go in, create a customer database that's going to mirror your DME account. Um, now, obviously, the only customers they can put input in their uh, module are going to be people within their facility. And after they do that, when they have trips, they're going to be able to post them uh, as pending for you to go in and approve or disapprove these trips. And all this is going to be in real time. It's going to have uh, associated data and statistics. They're going to be able to track when the people are going, when they're not. And here's the ultimate goal of it. Number one is to um, increase your relationship with them, make their job easier and your job easier. But even more importantly, if you have a contract with a facility and you can go in there and bring this as an added convenience to them, it's one more critical element and layer of you integrating your services with that facility. So the more you can intertwine and integrate your services with them, the less likely they are to you, uh, the less the less likely they are to use someone else or to go away from you. So think about the convenience. They don't even need to pick up the phone and call you anymore. They can just log on with their secure username and password. They're only going to see people associated with their uh, clientele. It's going to be 
completely integrated with your DME account uh, and everything, they'll be able to see everything in real time. Again, only the things that are applicable to, to their facility. So um, what, I, what I'm asking for is your email and your feedback. Uh, we have not, we've laid the foundation in terms of diagrammed and, and laid the, the planning stages of this new module, but it's going to take some time. It's definitely going to cost me some money, but it's worth it. I, I've talked to a lot of people about it and they all say they're really enthusiastic about it because again, the most important thing is you're integrating and intertwining your services with other facilities and they're less likely to use somebody else, the more you can increase the convenience for them, the less likely they are to use somebody else and the less likely they are to ever go away from you. So please email me, email me your thoughts, your comments, um, any feedback you would have regarding that module. Cause maybe there's some ideas that you would have that we might be able to implement. Maybe not immediately, but in the coming weeks and months, it's something we might be able to, in, to uh, implement. Now, the one thing is this, you guys, you guys who are using DME know that I'm a stickler. I'm a stickler on the 97 per month price point. Now with this new module, um, it's going to be something that you would sign up for. It's not going to be 97 a month. It will be significantly cheaper than that, but, um, it, you would have to pay for each new module because this new module, besides the developmental costs, there's going to be a lot of other costs associated with it, the hosting, the maintenance, the security aspects of it. So for that reason, each new module will cost a little bit, uh, more money. But again, I, I, you know, I'm going to keep it at a good price point because one thing that people love about DME is it's painfully cost effective. So um, I ask that you would email me. Um, you can send us your emails directly to jdavis at milliondollartransportation.com, jdavis at milliondollartransportation.com, and let me have your thoughts and ideas about DME. Another critical component uh, about Dispatching Made Easy that I would tell you when it comes to strategic thinking is make sure that as you build and grow your business, you're doing it in keeping up with technology. For example, we recently had one user who stopped using DME because DME does not do text messaging. Our, our instant messaging, our mobile functionality, and all the data and statistics associated with the instant messaging and the mobile functionality work very well, and a lot of people really enjoy that. But we don't do direct texting. And the reason why is we wanna keep up with technology. At the end of the day, most phones coming out in the future are all gonna be smartphones. And the instant messaging functionality is critical because it's going to track everything when the drivers sign on, sign off, all the data and statistics associated with mileage and trips and information like that. It's critical. Texting will not allow you to do that. So I encourage you that as you build, grow, and enhance your business, do it in such a way that you're moving forward progressively. Um, if you have drivers that can't keep up with it, they may be great drivers and you want to keep them, but really train them, train them to use the mobile functionality, train them to keep up with technology. You don't want to keep reaching back into the past in, the, in antiquated and outdated technology, especially if your business is growing and emerging. You want to integrate as many resources as you can to make it more simplistic, more convenient, and obviously much more cost effective. So uh, if you do have drivers that they're just, it's reality that you have some drivers, maybe some of them are older. They're just not used to the technology. I would encourage you as you bring new people on, you train them to keep up with technology. Because again, most phones moving forward are always going to be smartphones. And with our mobile functionality with DME, you're going to need a smartphone uh, with internet capabilities. So um, build your business in a smart, progressive, pragmatic way that's going to continue to allow you to grow and enhance and move forward in the future. Don't keep reaching back to the past. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you're already using DME, you're thinking about uh, using DME, please send us an email. Let us know your thoughts, your interest, maybe some suggestions or feedback regarding this new module that we're going to have coming out in the coming weeks and months so we're really excited about this and we've already got some great feedback so we really look forward to it and again crystal thanks so much for the great email it's funny and if any of you guys have any have any more testimonials please send them we always welcome it so thanks again i look forward to working with you especially in the coming new year there's a lot of great stuff coming out and let me also thank all of you who i have been working with in the last several weeks and months you guys have been great I love it and I, I enjoy it. I love nothing more than seeing you guys continue to grow, develop, enhance, and ultimately make more money. So be blessed and I'll see you at the top.